Jamal Hill. He tore his Achilles clean off just like I did last July, which is nine months ago. My surgeon told me I'm not gonna be close to 100% until 12 months. He's at nine months. Alex Pajero, he's got one of the best calf kicks in the game. If he starts kicking his calf like that, getting down to that Achilles, who knows how strong that Achilles is attached yet. So I'm really curious with Jamal Hill. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back again with another video. Guys, this video is brought to you by Prize Picks, and it's so simple. Go to the App Store, download Prize Picks. It's easy to deposit some money. You pick more or less on your favorite players in the NBA, NHL, UFC for the chance to win 100 times your money. It's available in states like Texas, California, and 30 more, plus Canada. Deposit match with code TIMBO, all caps. Put in $100 and you'll get a free $100. Um, it's a really fun way to make some cheddar. It makes watching sports way more fun. It makes watching fights way more fun. You can pick more or less on strikes, takedowns, real fun. And uh, that's prize picks, code TIMBO. In this video, we're gonna be talking about UFC 300 Main event, Jamal Hill, a real gangsta type dude who's down to scrap whenever, wherever. Problem is, he tore his Achilles clean off just like I did last July, which is nine months ago. My surgeon told me I'm not gonna be close to 100% until 12 months. He's at nine months. My surgeon said, you're not gonna be able to run for a full year. They say this these Achilles tears are worse than ACLs, so I'm really curious with Jamal Hill, how much rehab and how well he rehabbed this Achilles. For me, I was able to do everything under the under the sun. I'm able to do stem cells, all the peptides from ways to well. I ate the best possible. I ate a carnivore diet, so I just didn't add a bunch of inflammation to my body and get real fat while I was healing this in injury because I wanted to heal 100%. Now, I'm only about 19 weeks out from my surgery, and this puppy is still tight. Every morning I wake up, I really have to warm it up feels really connected, but it's still giving me some problems. I'm 19, 19 weeks out. So he's a couple months farther along than me, but I'm really curious how well did he rehab this puppy? He's got five rounds with Alex Potan Pereira. How long ago did he start this fight camp? And uh, is it his left leg or is his right leg? Now, Jamal Hill cracks people with his right hand. He really likes his right hand. From the southpaw position, he throws a really good right hook. Orthodox, he throws a really good, strong overhand. And I know that Jamal Hill is probably looking at Alex Pereira with his head dead center all the time. Alex Pereira's hands are by his armpits. He's more of a kickboxer. And kickboxers and Muay Thai guys, they don't really move their head much like boxers. Boom, boom, boom. They, they'll stand there. Alex Pajara has some of his best shots. He's got one of the best left hooks in the game, and he's got one of the best calf kicks in the game. For Jamal Hill, is it his left foot or is it his right foot? Because all the power from your punch, if you're right, if you're right-handed and you're standing orthodox, all the power from that punch is coming from you driving off the ball of your foot and turning your hips over. And all the power is coming from the ground, you being able to drive off the ball of your foot. And my surgeon clearly said, You this is what you have to be careful about, my physical therapist said. You cannot drive off the ball of your foot really hard or you'll blow that thing again. So I'm curious, but let's take a, a, a pick at some, um, some of the, some of Jamal Hill's knockouts here. Jamal Hill is 6'4", 32 years old, 12 and one on a four fight win streak. His last fight was against Glover Teixeira, January 21st, 2023. So a little over a year and a few months since he's battled, but his last fight against Glover Teixeira, who is main training partner and trainer of Alex Pajara. So that's definitely going to be an advantage because Glover went five rounds with him. So he's going to know a lot of his strengths. So let's take a peek here at this video. This is uh, Jamal Hill versus Johnny Walker, who Johnny Walker's giant. Jamal Hill's marching him down, no problem. Boom! Waits till, waits till Johnny Walker steps in and literally flattens Johnny Walker like a board. Follows up with a kill shot and sends him into the dark universe. Wait till he steps in with a jab, slips outside, throws a right hand to the temple, which just shuts off your motor functions and just boarded him up. Let's check out this one. We're about 129 in this video against Jimmy Crute. Jimmy Crute Orthodox. 
Jamal Hill, explosive, athletic type, steps in with a right counter right hook and sleeps him. He's got a good right hand. And Jamal Hill's an athlete. He passed up a basketball scholarship to start MMA in 2017. So he's an athletic dude. And like I said, he's the gangster type. He's not even thinking about this Achilles. He's going in there thinking he's going to knock Alex Pereira out. He's a brown belt in jiu-jitsu. And people have mentioned, are you going to go in there and take take Alex Pereira down and try to expose his grappling a little bit and wrestle him? And, and Jamal had said no. Why would I do that when I can go in there and knock him out? Let's fast forward a little bit here. Ovin St. Pru, we're at 250 this video. Ovin St. Pru versus Jamal Hill. And Jamal Hill is just putting it on him. Putting it on him, in his face, in his grill. Exchanging heavy. He's gonna have to he's gonna have to be careful a little bit letting loose like this. Letting so loose like this when Alex Pereira has such a good counter left hook. But like I said, I know these guys and these coaches his coaches are looking at Alex Pereira, how he, he sits there with his head, just like Izzy had his, Izzy's fight. Izzy backed up against the fence. They knew his head was going to be in that position. Alex Pereira is opening up with some combos. Izzy looks down, whips an overhand right, boom, right on the chin, right on the money, and takes uh, Pereira out. Let's go to 426 of this video. We're at round four. Jamal Hill still pushing the pace on Tego Santos. Walking him back. Let's bring it back a little bit. Sitting in the pocket and trading. That's why you, this UFC 300 main event is going to be epic. It really is. I'm pumped up for it. That's going to be the big question, ladies and gents. It's going to be the big question. How well did he rehab this? I know Jamal Hill has six kids, six children, ranging from the ages of 2 to 14. So he's living a pretty busy life. Um, like I said, he's a gangster, though. He's a gangster that's going to go in there and he believes he can knock out Alex Pereira. He's got a very dangerous right hand from Southpaw, from Orthodox. I'm curious what stance he's going to come out with. He's going to have to come out and he's going to have to answer Alex Pereira's kicks. Because if he starts kicking his calf like that, getting down to that Achilles, who knows how strong that Achilles is attached yet? And is it fully grown in 100%? According to my surgeons, they said one year until you're a hundred percent. You're not, and you should not run, and really explosively drive off the ball of your feet for at least a year. So we'll see. Like I said, Jamal Hill is a different breed, though, and we're gonna see how he comes back. Ooh, I'm pumped up for it. We're a little over a week away from UFC 300. Hope you guys are enjoying the channel. Thanks for all my new subscribers. And comment what you guys think below. What's going to happen? I'm going to give my official predictions on next week's video of UFC 300. We're going to Montana with four of my fighters to fight. And then we're flying straight to UFC 300. Sugar Shane got us a jet. We're going to be there cage side watching these battles. So I'm looking forward to it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know your thoughts below in the comments. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.